Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi here in beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another homework helper and today's lesson is going to be dealing with covalent formulas. So get out your periodic table, get out your polyatomic ion chart because we need to know our common non-metal ions and our Greek numeric prefixes. And I'm going to make some assumptions. I'm going to assume you know the periodic table, that you know the non-metallic roots or how to find them, that you know the numeric prefixes, and you know the rules for covalent compounds. And I know there's a video on my YouTube channel dealing with this topic. Write formulas for the following. Dinitrogen monoxide, silicon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, water, and xenon tetrafluoride. The general rule, write the symbols for the elements and use subscripts for the numeric prefixes. Don't worry about the charges. Covalent compounds, our first one was dinitrogen monoxide. Write down the elements. And di tells us that that means two, so there are two nitrogen. And mono means one, so there's only one oxygen. Now, we don't always write mono. Usually, we only write mono when there are several types of compounds dealing with the same elements. So, in this case, because there are a lot of nitrogen and oxygen uh, covalent compounds, we use mono. But we don't usually use mono in the beginning of a uh, compound or when there's not going to be any confusion. So, be prepared for that. Be flexible. The second one, silicon dioxide. Write down the elements. And notice there's only one silicon, but there are two oxygen. So let's write down two. Sulfur trioxide. Write down the elements. That really is just that simple. Sulfur and oxygen. There's only one sulfur, but there are three. That's what tri means. So write down three. Water. Now, water is a very old compound, and we don't use a scientific name for that. We call it water. It is wrong to say dihydrogen oxide. So, H2O, you need to know that. Xenon tetrafluoride, write down the elements. And xenon is only one, but tetra, that means four. And so then we have xenon tetrafluoride. That's really all that there is to it. Okay, let's recap. You used your periodic table, you used numeric prefixes, and you wrote covalent formulas. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Check out my uh, videos at my website. And you can also go to uh, YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of great information. Happy Island.